Hi guys and welcome to part 10 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On the last part, we created two repository interfaces and on this part we are going to create two dummy mocks which will provide us with data. So inside the data folder we create another folder and we name it mocks. Mocks are simply c -sharp classes which will inherit from the repository interfaces we created and we will implement the methods and the properties. Let us start by creating the first mock, so we right click and we add a class. For name conventioning we write mock and then the repository name. So I will write mock category repository. After we add the mock, we inherit from the interface and in this case it is i category interface. We implement the missing members, which in this case is just the categories. I'm going to copy the code from my GitHub repository and we'll add a link down below where you can get it as well. As we see here, we have the categories property this property has a getter only which returns a list of categories. These are the only two categories that we have, alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. Let us add the other mock as well and we name it mock drink repository. For mock drink repository, we are going to inherit from i drink repository. The same way we implement the missing members and drink repository as we have on the previous part, it has two properties which are drinks and preferred drinks and one method which is get drink by id. The same way I'm going to copy the code from my GitHub repository and I will provide the link down below on the description part. Here at this line we need to reference the mock category repository because our drinks have a property named category. We implemented only the first property since this is just a short demo to get an idea how the things work. This is all for this part. On the next part we are going to learn how we can configure the services on ASP.NET Core MVC. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.